grab some sushi with Amanda who hosted hashtag makes this food great again and then I am going to uh, go to Ikea the one in Frisco and get my table and my chair for my filming setup. Mile, turn left onto the I-30 East ramp. I know sis. So that's pretty much my day today. I'm just wearing this two-piece set that I got from Fashion Nova and this hat from Victoria's Secret Pink and then some Victoria's Secret Pink slides to go with it. I did not feel like doing my hair today nor did my hair feel like me doing it if that makes sense. Like my hair was not cooperating with me and I would not cooperate with it either. So it just got thrown into this ponytail in this hat and it just makes my head look so eggy. It looks like I have a true egg head, which I do, but you know, um, I did my makeup in 30 minutes. That is a new one for me. I watched the episode of Insecure from last night. I missed it. Um, I watched it on my phone while I was doing my makeup and by the time the episode was over, my makeup was done. I was like, yes, queen. So I will check in with you guys when I get to uh, Dr. Khan's office and yeah I just take you all through the rest of my day i can't do it with my hat <laughs> i have to look at it like this okay wait how do i take your photo or is it just I I it's recording oh is it recording i can't see it yeah here oh, okay that way i can see it they said we're not going to see it again for seven years. Hey guys, so I am at my surgeon's office. I had my post-op appointment today, but it was the solar eclipse. So my post-op appointment was at what, like 12, 15? So everyone is out here just like watching the solar eclipse. And we got these glasses. Can you see it? And then we got Nurse Betty. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think that should be pretty or It is. It will be. Nurse yeah, Betty is chilling. <laughs> <laughs> so my post-op appointment went really well. We sat down and answered some of you guys' questions. I'm just going to be out here watching the eclipse. And then once that's over, I'm going to head to sushi with Amanda. And left on the wide lift. Ugh. Dallas is such a headache to drive through. <sighs> All these twists and turns. But anywho, I'm leaving my post off um, appointment with Dr. Khan. It went really well. I wanted to, you know, just talk to her about um, the redness that I have underneath here. And she just said, you know, that's bruising, that's normal. Not necessarily soreness, but just tenderness. Um, right over here, she said that that's normal as well, um, just to keep doing my arm exercises. And then numbness. I had like very little feeling because the skin is so tight and she said about six weeks that should change. So um, that was pretty much my post-op appointment. We did answer a few of you guys' questions about the 24-hour recovery and things like that. So um, I'll put my pre-op and post-op video together so you guys can see. Hello? Hello? Hey girl, this is Amanda. My, uh, phone is my phone. Oh, hey girl. I am on the way. How far away are you? I'm about 14 minutes away. Oh, okay, cool. Are either one of them not readily available near you? Do you live all the way in Abu Dhabi? So. Uh, you know, on Mars, we still have Gloria's NRA. Let's do, um, let's, let's do Gloria's. Okay. Well, I will meet you there. Okie dokie. That was Amanda. That's who I am meeting for. Look. Did you just honk at me? I know you didn't just honk at me. And the light just turned green. Anyway. <laughs> People drive crazy out here in Dallas. I'm telling y'all, y'all really think I'm tripping when it comes to Dallas. I am not. Dallas is just, it's not my cup of tea. Here's the right lane to take the Dallas North Tollway North Ramp, then merge on
you want to know something really exciting? Ikea is 12 minutes away from here. The one in Frisco. So after I leave my um, lunch date at Glorious with Amanda, I'm just waiting for her to arrive. But when she gets here and we have lunch, I'm going to go to Ikea. I've never been to Ikea before, so I'm really excited. I need a table and a chair uh, for my filming setup. I went back to filming on the floor and on top of like you know those little plastic moving boxes those storage boxes um that's what i used to film on and then i had like this itty bitty table that i got from hobby lobby and then this like uh fluffy white stool thingy bobber and i just thought i was doing the dern thing because that's what i put into my um what's that thing called my apartment was that thing called that's what i put in my apartment when i had those three roommates um if you were watching me back then and um i could only fit you know something of that size in there and i sat the furry stool like close to the wall and then i sat the table in front of the stool of course and i had like this big mirror in my i mean big window in my room and it would like shine lots of natural light in so i would set up my ring light and then my soft boxes and i would open the window and just have all this light coming into my room while i was filming i would like pin backdrops onto the wall and so that's just kind of like the method that i've been using at um at home now but it's time to upgrade um and you know i have my canon t6i that i film with it's in the description box with a link every video like it's always down there you know what i'm saying like a lot of information i provide <laughs> for you guys but yeah that's what i film with and so i'm i was like okay well i need to kind of switch up my lighting situation and make sure that my setup is like just really high quality and um i changed my setup and changed my lens and i'm like oh i love the setup but this little table, like this, it's a little bitty table, you know what I'm saying? It can barely hold my brush belt and the products that I'm using. Like I'm constantly knocking things down. Things are constantly falling off of the table onto the floor. It's really, really, really small and really annoying. So I just want a bigger table and then I want a chair with back support, especially with my new tatas. I cannot just sit on that stool and film for you know an hour two hours straight i need to have something with a little bit of back support so that's why i'm going to ikea um my filming setup is nothing to see <laughs> when i'm not you know like actually set up and actually filming it's I, listen i'm just working with what i have <clears throat> have a small amount of space I have a few inches or a couple feet to be exact in my dad's office and that's it and that's what I work with like I film next to an exercise bike I film in front of a treadmill like it's it's really I just I jank it it's janky it's really janky but you know you have to do what you have to do and as long as it doesn't look like I'm filming next to an exercise bike or in front of a treadmill that's all that matters to me um gotta crawl before you walk you know like gotta crawl before you walk so that's what i'm doing but it's a must that i upgrade that table and that chair i want that space to be more organized so i'm just thinking of ways to do that so that it doesn't take up too much of my dad's space because i want to be respectful of course um and something that can move with me when i do move or i don't know something like that so ikea after this but I will check in with you guys when Amanda gets here. Thank you. It's so nice out here. Thank you. my lunch date with Amanda is over we had such a great conversation um I honestly love like hanging out with friends that are in different like walks or older and um they're able to provide insight um I don't know if you guys have had this experience but like if you've hung out with people 
who constantly talk about other people um we're human so you know that stuff kind of happens but like to hang out with somebody who talks about um organizing events and helping the community and giving back and who talks about building things and creating things and opportunities and opening doors for people and helping out in ways that they can like I love that so Amanda's super super sweet and she's just like she's just like good vibes you know what I'm saying so that was just a really it's a huge bug on my windshield ew um so that was just a really refreshing um lunch date and I feel like when I get things out of lunch dates like that, like gyms, really good advice, stuff like that, I like to take care of it. I'm just that type of friend. I was gonna go to Ikea, but Amanda was telling me that like, if I were to go to Ikea, it's kind of like Walmart and it'd be difficult finding someone to help me because I can't lift anything myself, especially things that are over um, 20 pounds. So that's, you know something that's pretty difficult for me to maneuver around and I was just thinking you know it's 15 minutes away I could like pop in and just go and see if I can find somebody to help me and lift things for me just tell them like what's going on like hey I just had surgery and I can't lift things is it possible for somebody to kind of like help me I know what I want I want a table and a chair and that's it so I don't know I'm kind of on the fence about it but I mean I'm on this side of town it's only like what 14 minutes away from here it's 18 minutes away from here there's a little bit of traffic <sighs> How far is my house from here? Seizing bank. Heading. Let us solve your problem. Remove the stress and put cash in your pocket. Call now. Holy camoly. My house is 45 minutes from here. So, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, I guess, to drive the darn near 20 minutes it would take <laughs> to get to Ikea just to see if I could go home with that table and chair. Because I'm really not trying to order a table and chair. The shipping prices are crazy. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Ooh. There's a new procedure that's... Parkway, then turn right on Dallas Parkway. Turn right. Okay, y'all. Head northeast on Dallas Parkway. Okay. Mm, nope. No, no, no. Be quiet. Be quiet. It's quieter. We're going to Ikea. Okay, guys. I'm at Ikea for the first time ever. Um, I don't know the item number for that um, table that I'm looking for. I know it's $24.99. So I'm gonna go in here and hopefully I can find this table and hopefully I can find a chair. And more importantly, hopefully I can find somebody to help me because I can't lift anything. <laughs> so um, I didn't show you guys my outfit. This is what I'm wearing today with my Victoria's Secret pink slides to match my hat. I'm so glad that pink has hats now. Um, but they don't come down low enough to me. They're like just the weird shaped hats that I don't really like that much. But <sighs> let's see if I can find somebody to help me. Twitter and like
like, I need to meet her. I need Forever. to meet her. I need to meet her. Forever. And I finally. How this was dare wild. you be indented <laughs> and we never connected? How I know. dare you? Dare. This is like my big sister, y'all. Y'all really don't understand. She's like, like look how cute she is. Hey, her and that's my friend. Your friend. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I, I've seen your YouTube. Hi. Yeah. You are so cute. You are so you. adorable. Oh my goodness. I love her so much. I Everything inside of me. Love you. I love you so much. I love you. I'm so. Excited. I finally get to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. I'm gonna go now. Okay, so this is my. This is what my room looks like. This is like the example of my room is the exact same way mm -hmm. but in between my bed and the desk i was gonna put that white yeah 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 thing, the white little shelves that i wanted to film Just, in front yeah, of so i can film yeah. in front of it and then behind me was i was gonna turn the desk into a vanity yes and put like a clear glass on top and go by the vanity, box the vanity mirror. mirror yep yep and do that and then get change the chair in here i think he said we're gonna pass these tables I think so it might be one more. Okay, so y'all, I decided to just walk around with. Oh, I'm out of focus. Is it that? No, no. Oh man. Okay, yeah, I decided to walk around with Kanisha so I could find this table. It's in this area. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Same name, right? Yep. Oh wait, look. Oh. Oh so yeah. This yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. I really. Same combination. Yeah, yeah it's like a build your own table. Okay. Okay. So you would write things. The numbers. Mm -hmm. Or take a picture of it, and then when okay. you go down to the warehouse and go find it. Honestly. The red thing. Yeah. Okay. And so you would separately find the peg holes and then the desktop. Okay. How do I? What are the number for the, the peg, peg holes? holes? Yeah. It'll, you see how it has two. Oh, okay. So one piece is this, and then the four pieces are the legs. Oh, the oh. legs. Oh, okay. Are these Alex drawers? Yes. I need to put my hands on these. I kind of want this. Yeah, that's cute too under it. They are jamming in here. I know these are like really spacious. Yes, they are. What is that? I think that will is it the same fit better. Thing? Should I just do one or should I do the full? You can one? do one and have it like this. You can even put lights behind it. Okay. And then put things, of course, in the shelves mm -hmm. so that it looks okay, like. I, think I might just buy one and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then if I want to buy another one, just mm -hmm. come back. Do you have space to flip it over? Yeah. This way? This way? Oh, and lay them down and make yeah. them. Oh. Y'all, we made it to the light section. And like, not to be corny or cheesy, but it's like really lit over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, like the lighting is like really good over here. All of these lights. I saw these like strip lights. I don't know what I would use them for. Um, no, they're not powerful enough. But like, when you get your own place or something, you can put the mood lights underneath your cabinets and mm -hmm. stuff. I think that would be cute. I'm doing a project where I'm putting them underneath my bed. So like, I'm gonna show you a picture. So it's your bed like, like kind of glows? Yeah. I'm gonna show you a picture. That sounds super cute. <laughs> okay, y'all, we made it to the warehouse. I don't, this is where like, I'm lost. We're about to get a cart. Thank you. Okay, got my cart. I need to look in my um, phone because I took pictures of what I needed. There's Kanisha getting what she needs. Okay. I would help, but I can't. Is that your shelving unit? This is the 
Oh, the drawer. Okay, y'all, I came and I saw and I conquered. I'm so excited. I got my chair and then my wheels to go with my chair, my tabletop, my legs, and I got some Alex drawers. Never had them before, but I'm gonna put them underneath the table to help store my makeup. <sighs> thank goodness I had their help. I'm just going to check out. They're gonna help me put my stuff in my car, thank goodness. And then we're gonna go home and put this together. And yeah, I'm so excited I actually came here. It was like fate. <laughs> okay, you guys, my first experience at IKEA went very well. I got all of my stuff that I wanted. I'm excited. So it is 8.47. I'm listening to Jewish Jen's podcast on the podcast app on my iPhone. And I'm about to go have breakfast with my dad. Just threw on this outfit. My room is a mess. I'm currently washing my, um, my sheets. I feel like I'm always washing my sheets, but that is so good. That is so good. So, oh. This is kind of itchy. Don't know where we're going to go. This is pretty much the same outfit that I wore last week. I think there was a stain on my shirt, but you know, whatever. Um, I just threw my hair up and put this little band over it that I got from Target in this pack. Um, my Shein sunglasses. They're sold out. I keep checking to see if they're coming back in stock. They've been sold out. They're in the description box. Link down there. So if you are interested in these, they are in the description box um yeah i just have on this like cropped white shirt that i got from forever 21 and then these leggings that i got from fashion nova and these slides that i also got from fashion nova i really want a waffle father do you know which one to eat me neither i really want a waffle i'm ready when you are um, give me five minutes. It's an eternity. Three. Okay, much better. So yeah, we are going to go get some breakfast. I'm going to come back, probably do my makeup and film in my new filming setup. Literally all I got was a table and a chair, but you can't tell me anything. It's a new filming setup, if you ask me. So, um, I will check in with you guys whenever we get to breakfast, wherever we decide to go. And yeah. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know. So we're here at Breadwinners. We came to the one in Trophy Club. Um, hey, Dad. <laughs> we didn't know where the entrance was, y'all. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Just two? Yes, just two. This one's nice. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Just what I wanted. Waffles. They have a fresh strawberries and cream waffle. That sounds good. Ooh, okay, I think I'm gonna get half of a waffle and I'm gonna add strawberries. They have fresh juice. I'm probably gonna get some apple juice. And then I want brunch potatoes. Okay, you guys, here is my waffle. Oh, man. 
My waffle has whipped cream on it. I do not want that because that is definitely dairy. Fudge sickles. So, yeah, here's my waffle with the syrup and the butter. And this is actually chicken. This is not sausage, but it's chicken in a sausage link. And then my dad got the migas. Which looks really, really good. So, also got an apple juice. Okay, guys, we're done eating. I'm so good, but I'm really full. What did you think, Falda? Um, I thought it was good. <laughs> It was um, it was different. I wasn't I wasn't used to the way the, the eggs were prepared and, and the consi consistency and texture. It wasn't too bad. Um, but I've been here before, and there's some other items that I like a lot better, and I'll be getting that next time. time. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the chicken and waffles, y'all, but the waffle is has like a. Uh, what am I trying to say? The waffle has bacon in it. <laughs> and I don't eat pork, so I can't get it. Unless we can make the waffle without bacon, I'll ask next time. But what I got was really, really good. Um, I need to really make it a point to eat like a bigger breakfast just to start the day off because my days always go really good when I have breakfast. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna, I'm just gonna put myself in the eye. Probably gonna go back home and film about meeting up for lunch. We're at Target. They're remodeling, so. Boo. <laughs> this location is kind of inconvenient because of all the stuff that they're remodeling. I think it was the most inconvenient when they didn't have, like they only have one bathroom. And it was like, um, it wasn't even like men and women. It was just like the bathroom by the CVS pharmacy in here that they just added. So. They used to have porta potties out front for men and women, but I guess they have bathrooms again. So that's a plus. Um, but they kind of just move stuff around in here. So we're gonna get some fruit. We're gonna get some vegetables. We're going to get some frozen fruit. Um, I'm probably gonna get like some zucchini, some rice, some shrimp, maybe a little bit of chicken and do like a light, 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 light meal prep and then make my juices and my smoothies and stuff. I need something to eat for breakfast. So that's the focus. We gotta get some breakfast food. My dad is somewhere over there. Usually when we come to the store, I'm like solo anyways. Like look at this remodel. It's usually not like this. <gasps> Boneless watermelon. <laughs> okay guys, let me shop and check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi okay, guys, we're leaving Target. My dad was so nice to help me because the only thing about the 24-hour recovery is they are serious about the things that I cannot do, which is lifting things that are heavy for me, um, over 20 pounds, but since I'm so small, like, 10, 15 pounds and 20 and up, of course, I cannot lift. Um, I can't even put my feet in like water. So I can't put my feet in the ocean, can't put my feet in a swimming pool, can't put my feet in a jacuzzi, I can't be near baths. What? <laughs> He was for Isaiah Thomas. That's gonna be hot. What? I'm looking forward to it. I like Isaiah. I hated that he was with Boston because I can't stand Boston. Isaiah Thomas but, you know, goes to the Cavaliers. In any respect, but yeah, Isaiah what? Thomas coming to play with LeBron. Oh too. my That's gonna be a goodness! Good and Crowder to yo. Son. Wow. Behind Kyrie. Well, you see what you do on your own now. I bet okay, like, Kyrie. Oh, I it. Isaiah Thomas. Too late, Kyrie Irving. Yeah, okay. We'll I would like to see. I, 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 if I had to choose between two, I would take Kyrie Irving. So I'm going to think it's a big game. Well, for, um, the Cavaliers. That's it. Brown Brown is even there. But anyhow, that's not what you're talking about. <laughs> what was I even saying? Oh, basically, my dad was just really nice to <laughs> take me to the grocery store um, so we can get groceries for the house. So is that rain you put on your parade? No, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh. Um, and I was nice enough. Not the best daughter award because this is like pretty average stuff. But I treated and bought the groceries for the house. I'm really proud of myself. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Since I feel like, you know, I couldn't really lift anything, I might as well 
take care of the bill. So now we're gonna go to Sprouts. Um, we forgot. Do y'all ever do this? Like you go. Do you have that juice? No. Mm -hmm. Um. The only place besides Sprouts would be the Natural yeah, Grocer. Sure. Okay. Um, so now we're, we were going to go to Sprouts, but now Natural Grocer to get um, pineapple juice. I need some almond milk. And we forgot to get dishwashing liquid, but it's going to be really expensive at the Natural Grocer because there's nothing in it. <laughs> it's like the really natural kind. Um, but I may pick up some dishwashing liquid from the natural grocer just to have some extra on hand just in case we do run out pretty soon because I don't like I like to shop for preventative measures so if something is running low I like to buy a new one before that one runs out if that makes sense so we got everything we needed from Target um, yeah and then after this we're going to go home I know I can go home and make these juices but I saw them and I wanted to try them, so I got Rain Dance Pony Up Fire Starter and Sunshine. Here's the dishwashing liquid that we got. It is free and clear. Plant derived goodness for purely powerful clean. I may not be plant based anymore, but I'm still plant rich, so I like to save the environment in many ways. Almond milk, coconut water, almond milk ice cream because it's dairy free and then my dad got his juices down there some pineapple juice and some grapefruit juice all organic so let's see where he went okay oh, hey. inner leaf i don't know what that means oh like when you cut the leaf open the stuff that comes out so it's good This is gluten free, but is it dairy free? Cause I've been wanting like pizza lately. Now here's a pepperoni style pizza, spinach and mushroom. We tried the Supreme pizza and it was nasty. I didn't like it. It's gluten free, grain free. Um, I kind of want to try this pizza y'all. I'm done with like the meat replacement stuff but I want to give, it's dairy and soy free. It wouldn't hurt to just give it a shot. Like I said, I tried this one. I didn't really like it, but we'll try this one because it has the white sauce instead of the red sauce that I usually don't like. So yeah, let's give that a shot. So I got a package from Morphe. I purchased these products myself. I got some of their um, beauty sponges just because, you know, I love beauty sponges. And then I got this sponge and brush soap. I think you can just... Really, Pebbles? Oh, you can just use this, this soap. Literally, just open the top and use the soap itself to clean your brushes. So I really need to clean my brushes. But I was kind of on the fence about getting this. I needed new brushes and... The brush sets that I've seen, like from Coastal Sense or BH Cosmetics or even My Makeup Brush Set, they kind of just like don't have the brushes that I specifically want. I'm struggling. Hold on a second. Okay, let me just open it this way. So this is the Jaclyn Hill brush set by Morphe. So the brushes come in here. I thought it would be great um, just like for traveling as well because my brush belt can get pretty messy and great for filming. So yeah, these are the brushes. Hey guys, um, the lighting looks weird. That's better. Yeah, there we go. I am actually dressed and ready to go. I'm about to head out and go to Papacitos with Kanisha, we were supposed to grab lunch, but she actually had training in Fort Worth, which is so convenient because that's where I live, <laughs> obviously. Um, 
So I just kind of like put some wand curls in my hair really quickly. This is a jumpsuit from Fashion Nova. And the rose gold shoes are from Hot Miami Styles. Um, the lippy is Lena Lashes. Like they're brown color. I forgot the name of it. And Tansy by ColourPop in the middle with like a dark brown lip liner around the entire thing. My bang is getting on my nerves. <laughs> I'm ready to get a new hairstyle all ready just because i took the liberty of cutting my own bang so that it could be shorter and now it doesn't like stay where it's supposed to stay like if i push it that it uh, <laughs> i hate when bangs are too short like this so it's my own fault i cut it so yeah um this is just what i'm wearing and again i'm not wearing a bra this is all booby still a little swollen but it has gone down just a little bit um i've taken my antibiotics and my ibuprofen that's helped with the swelling and stuff like that but yeah i feel a little pressure i wish i could wear a bra because i can't wear a bra because i, I don't i can't have anything sitting on my incision like that um but I'm going to ask Dr. Khan, I'll probably text her, call her, and ask her if I can get a surgical bra. Because just kind of walking around without a bra on for six weeks straight, without any support, having these two melons on my chest, it's kind of like, uh, I get tired so quickly and so easily. Um, because one, I'm on antibiotics. Two, I'm like taking ibuprofen just for like the tightness and stuff and it's a little heavier than what I'm used to you know 32 A's were easy breezy so I'm about to head to Papacitos and I will check in with you when I get there and see Kanisha I'm so excited I don't know if Deja's coming but we'll see <laughs> okay guys I'm here the lighting just looks so weird am I even in focus okay that's a little better. Y'all, we almost died. Um, I kind of like turned a little too quickly on this, um, this curved thing. I took the wrong exit. I'm telling y'all, I, if anybody bet money on me knowing my way around Fort Worth, I, you win. Knowing my way around Dallas, you win. Like, I don't know my way around. They changed, there was construction, okay? It's not my fault. They changed the exit and stuff like that. I wouldn't even have known how to get here, even if I knew how to get here. But I'm here now. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Thank you. Wow. Wow, this looks so good. Hey, boo. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> There's a hair in my eye. Just had dinner with my boo. Hey. So, you're gonna go back to Denton? Yeah. I gotta drive all the way to Denton. All the way to Denton. I can relate. <laughs> I understand. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's a long drive. It is a long drive. Well, from here, it's like, what, 35, 40 minutes? 45. 45 minutes? Yeah, 30, like 35. Yeah, 35, 40. <sighs> I understand. Somebody come drive for me. I feel you. <laughs> I, I, would to, I would totally drive you. But. If I could. But, okay, we're gonna keep talking and then I will check in with you guys later because I have all this food. <laughs> it was good though. Okay. Excuse me. I look like a foot. It's my dad's birthday. Woohoo. So I got him four pairs of shoes, two Adidas, and two Nikes. He said he wanted shoes for his birthday, so that's what I got him. I also got this card. I like I don't like the decoration of it, but I like what it says. I really like to give my dad cards. He likes cards. But I'm The champ is here. The champ. Pebbles. Can we can we enjoy things? Pebbles. 
It's grandpa's <laughs> birthday. Stop it. Stop. 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 <laughs> You're ruining it. This. Yes. <laughs> You're ruining it. <laughs> Hold. Stop it. It's grandpa's birthday. Okay, grandpa, stop. You gotta stop hitting me. Pebbles. Wish him a happy birthday, Pebbles. Be Pebbles. nice. Chill. Be nice. Chill. Pebbles. Come on, Pebbles. Chill. Be nice. Chill. Pebbles, take a chill pill. Chill. <laughs> chill, you will. She's like, Mom, save chill me. Hmm? She's like, Mom, save me. <laughs> hey, Dad. Okay. 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 This is what you want. I know. He just wanted your tummy rubbed. Just wanted attention. Uh oh. Gift number one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at Ashley. Hey. 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 Look at you. I see you. Green and gold. Green, green and, and gold. gold. Green, green and gold. gold. Green and gold. Green and yellow. Green and yellow. Green and yellow. Green and yellow. Hey. Hey. You like them? Yeah, I like these. Okay. Oh, look at you. You know, I do what I can. Wow. What do you think? Different, but I like it. Okay. I like it. I like different. I'm gonna do more different. Yes. I noticed you were. You noticed that? Yeah, you were doing more different. More so. Different. Yep. So now we got you three shoes that you don't have already. I think you're gonna like these. Yeah, I do. That's, this is really good. Yeah, this is cool. Ultra Boost? Yeah. What makes it Ultra Boost? Is it something special about the soul or something? Yep. Like yep. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Yeah. This is great, Ashley. Thank you. Thank My you. pleasure. Okay, so these are your gifts. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank and then you, lunch, of course. Thank you. Lunch, too? Yeah. Thank you, Pebbles. You know she ain't she have said, nothing to do with this. I have nothing to do with this. That's what she said. Oh, she said happy birthday. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I'm like, listen. Now, everybody, she was barking at me, but she was just playing. Yeah, she, she does just, that all the time. She doesn't actually like Grandpa, so she... <laughs> no, she just plays. Her loyalty is to me. It is. Yeah. Sort of. For some odd reason, actually. Sort of, it is. It's sort of until I come home. Yeah. She's not really technically my dog. She's your dog. Well, she is my dog, yeah. She knows it, though. <laughs> so you say. <laughs> <laughs> they look really good. Do they? Yeah, they go with your outfit. Yeah, they do. This is nice. Yeah, I like them. Check and they them out, fit? everybody. Check it out, Pebbles. Look at them, Pebbles. Flex Look on them. them. Flex on them, Dad. Look at them. Fle oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, my, not my dance, y'all. No. That's for the youngsters. Yeah, it's one of the ones that I taught you. Yeah, they look really nice, so. Yeah, I like it. I'll uh, see you at lunchtime. Do I look no! You look 38. 38? Yes. Bless you, my child. I know all the things to say. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> so let me thank everybody for the happy birthday wishes. I'm sure some people will, will send, send some. Some of you have been kind enough to. Um, to call me your virtual dad, and I appreciate that, and it's, and it's quite an honor. And so, thank you for the happy birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. You hey guys are with the man of the hour. Oh, got your new shoes on. Yeah, the socks. The socks. Oh, the socks. Yeah, look at the socks. I like the socks. I like the socks too. I do like the socks. <laughs> the dress shirt with the jeans and the shoes. You know. Dad got dressed up, I'm so casual, but we're at one of his favorite places, which is Papacitos. I was just here, but the food was so good, y'all. I had to come back. The food is here, the food is here. It looks so yummy. 